Okay, here we are with the attic insulation. I want to tell you a little bit how to look for uh, how much insulation you have in the attic and what it means to you. Okay, first off, you have this data card here. This guy is going to tell you how much insulation that you have uh, are supposed to have in the attic. Uh, they have a prescription. Uh, they want to reach an R rating, uh, 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 an insulation value or R rating. And so on this one, it says R38. And it also will tell you how many inches of insulation should have been blown in. Okay. But I want to show you on this one, it says R38 with 17.9. So 18 inches of insulation should be here. Now let's take a look. You see these two two by sixes? This is the two by six and the two by six. Look how much insulation there is in here. It just tops the top of this two by six and the two by six. So that's what, 12 inches and barely over the top of that. And so if you look, there's not 17 inches of insulation, 18 inches of insulation here. There's only 12. You might say, well, that's not a big deal. It's only, I mean, it's a little under. No, it's a third under. And it only gives you 25, the R rating, R value, insulation value of 25 and not 38. So that is going to highly impact the cost of your heating and cooling in this house. And you're paying for a full attic of insulation. Why settle for less? Uh, settle for less insulation settling. Okay, so go to your builder, um, take photos of this. Uh, put it in an email and make sure that they understand that you want this insulation to be at R38 rating like it's said to have been. And there might need to be building some walls here to uh, improve the height of these walls whoop, so that the insulation can be um, installed properly. All right, Fidelity Home Inspection, going places that no one else goes to save you money. And I hope today you've learned a little bit about insulation in new homes. Thanks a lot.